Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is Ten Bells, a liminal space horror game much like the Exit 8 and Hotel Overloop. We'll be looking for anomalies, but within Ten Bells there's actually going to be a bit of a twist. There's an unfolding narrative, so I thought this would be quite interesting to play. So without further ado, let's ring that bell. Let's get started. And we are in control. Funeral service. The Ten Bells. We implore you to explore the premises of the anomalies. If all is in order, please pr proceed to the private room. Should you encounter an anomaly, we kindly request that you turn back to progress. Much like all these type of anomaly games that we find. Uh, not sure about the picture of the faceless lady there. But, um, right. Empty point. Empty point in an English pub. So we are moving forward. Here we are in the Ten Bells pub. Ah, look at this place. Look at this place. You're not expecting me to note all the place, all the beer mats, right? Come on. That's not going to work. I'm not going to remember all that. Things in the cabinets. There's a lot here in this pub. In this quaint old English pub. Hello, sir. Hello, governor. How you doing? You all right? Can I get a beer, please? Can I get a Stella? I want a Stella. Can you give me a Stella? I'll tell you what, Chief. Your moustache... Look. Don't walk away from me. Don't walk away from me! How dare you, sir. How very dare you. Okay, I'll tell you a joke. This is a bar joke, okay? There's no one around. I can tell you this. A man walks into a pub and notices Vincent van Gogh is standing at the bar, possibly on one of these seats right here. Do you want a pint, Vince? asked the man. No thanks, replies the artist. I've got one ear. I've got I've got one ear. You get it? You got it, right? So play on the words, play on the fact that the art you, you, you get where I'm coming from. Okay. We have to we have to look around. Uh I'm really hoping there's a lot of stuff in this pub. Much like these anomaly games, you have to look, you have to be on the you have to be on the lookout. You have to be. There's lots of pictures. There's lots of cabinets with things in them. Am I meant to be recording all of this in my tiny reptilian brain? Is that what you're telling me? And we've got. It's not just one section. There's two sections to this pub. I mean, it is a glorious pub. I will give you that. This is that kind of pub. I would love to go in. The snooker table. Something's going to have to happen with the snooker table, right? Pool. Just checking the green felt on the bottom there. Uh, I'm not going to remember any of this. Hey. Hey, lady. You okay? What's going on here? Why are you just staring at the... You're just staring. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're a server here, or... Okay. Anytime I try and talk to these people, they just walk away. Right. And then we've got a... Uh, little fireplace here. This is obviously the first level, so we're not going to see any anomalies right now. Every time I look at you, you turn away. Is that your designated default setting? Turn away from patrons? Uh, I mean, there seems to be five beer mats on every table... That's what I'm thinking here. Apart from that one that had three. Right. Let's just see what we can see. We have a grandfather clock. Ye olde grandfather clock here. And the cellar. Can we enter the cellar? No, we cannot. Fantastic. I didn't want to know that there's a, a third place that we can go down. Then we have staff only as well. Ooh. Ooh. Little, little red light there. So this would be the, the exit point, right? This is where we do a loop. 
Although, is this part of the pub? Don't know. Although, the sound effects there did make it sound like we've gone through one loop. Okay. So this would be the... Now, now it's anomaly time, right? Nothing's told me otherwise. So I'm just going to get... Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, the bell. The bell. The bells. So now we're going to have to be on the lookout. We are going to have to be on the lookout. I do like these deductive sort of games. There is something inherently just... How are you, sir? How are you, governor? You all right? You check your hip. Oh, no, you just bring out the cloth. Wipe down the table. Yeah, apparently barmen... It's always good for a barman to have a cloth in their hands because they feel it's weird if they're just standing behind the bar not doing anything. It's unnatural. I don't know what this door is, where that leads to. The rain. Ah, checking the beer mats. I haven't seen anything untoward. I mean, I have been just gleaning through this. Are you okay? You're just still standing away from me, huh? I haven't noticed anything different here. Fireplace isn't... Is that going to be like the fireplace is going to be on fire? You still seem like you're right. I'm not noticing anything different. I'm not noticing anything. Green felt on the snooker table. Got the thing there. I think everything's okay. Was this here before? Oh, I don't remember there being a bell there before. Oh, no. Does that mean... I mean, it is called the bell, but I don't actually remember seeing it before. I'm going to go with it's okay. I think everything's okay. Everything's fine now. Even though this is like weird dry ice on the floor. The cellar's fine. The cellar's fine. Okay. I think we're... I think we're okay. I think we're okay. I'm gonna go ahead. I think that obviously meant there was an anomaly. Because... Oh, no, the bell's gone now. Wow, so we did miss something. Okay, there was something... Gotta look at the pictures, gotta look at the pictures. Okay, we're back. All right, Governor. So this... Does this mean there is going to be something? The bell was there. Okay. Not my bad. If you saw it in the playback now, I apologize. I can only say that I was looking... The, the white bull is over to the right. Okay. Ah. Can we talk to you? No. Oh, don't cry. What was... Was she always doing that? I don't know. I just don't know. I'm not seeing any I'm not seeing anything here. Nothing's standing out. Nothing is really standing out to me here. The grandfather clock? Fine. Cellar door? Closed. I'm gonna say I'm gonna take that for the win. I didn't see anything suspicious. Let's go. I'm going to have to really pay attention, aren't I? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Well, I guess it's right. The bell indicates that we're doing fine. So, pictures, pictures. Woman in a carriage being... harassed by someone else. Is it the programs on the wall? Police news? Are you okay? Are you looking okay? You're looking fine. You're looking fine. Placemats. Nothing. The golden bell. That's there. I can't see anything suspicious here. I can't, there's nothing untoward. There's nothing... A... Boat. Nothing's really 
Nothing's really popping out at me here. I obviously didn't get through the first level. But I can't see... So you've got a lady over here. Is it going to be like the barrels and stuff? Is this going to be like one of those really... Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh. 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 Oh dear. Okay, quite a I know this place is called the Bell, but um We're just going to walk away from that. Everything's okay. Ah. A hairbrush. One must look presentable to keep up appearances. So there's going to be items? Does that mean, yeah, two bells? Aha! And now the pub is the two bells. I like that. I like that little nuance there, that little, every time we go through a level. We know. We know. What am I going to call you? i got to call you something. Eddie. I'm going to call you Eddie. Eddie the barman. Okay, Eddie. I might have some um, barroom jokes for you later on. Let's just, we've got to check out the place now. My optics are running 100%. I mean that last anomaly was was pretty was pretty full on, so we're making sure. You're still there. Fireplace still on still lady there. Okay. And a duke over here. I'm not seeing anything untoward. No big giant bells here. Oh I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. God damn it. Good. Ooh. The picture's coming alive. And we have another news article. Mysterious sightings of the Ten Bells. Strange accounts have surfaced from the Ten Bells public house. Patrons claim to have seen a ghostly lady clad in white who silently disturbs the company before vanishing without a trace. A pint glass was seen to move of its own accord. Many whisper of a connection to the ill-omened history that haunts these very streets. And Inspector Abilene, or Abilene, is said to be looking into the matter. Am I the inspector? Is that what we're saying? Well, we've got the three bells now. Okay, it's everything to play for. Three bells. Ah. So the story is that there are... There's a mysterious ghost lady stalking... Stalking this old English pub. Alright, Eddie, mate. How's it going? Not a pint of Stella, please, if you will. Yeah, you get your cloth out. You start wiping those uh, counters. If you know what's good for you. Um, the bell's there. I feel like I feel like I have to take account into what's behind Eddie here. Eddie. Come on, Eddie. You tell me, right? You tell me if there was something amiss. Oh, I thought it was something with a picture there. You get so paranoid. You get so suspicious of everything in these type of games. Uh, no, everything's looking okay here. The, the painting. Woman's still there. Fireplace, unlit. Still got your dude there. Still got your lady there. Still got the duke there. Uh, okay. Those puddles of blood were not here before, and I'm sure I did. Yep, yeah, that's a uh, that's a head. We're going to call this an anomaly, and I don't really want to stand in puddles of blood. So we're just going to back out. Oh, now there's more. So some of the anomalies only start when you go through to the second section. Eddie, you should have told me this. Eddie. 
Eddie, my man. We're friends, right? I told you that joke before. Sorry. Right, so we're going back. Picture's still the same, but there is a third object here. Rouge to cover the bruises. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm, I'm getting I'm, I'm, I'm getting a picture here now. In the four bells. Getting a picture. Eddie. The lady who's on the other side of the bar. You wouldn't be, uh... No, of course not. Of course not, Eddie. You're a stand-up guy. You're a barman. You wouldn't be mistreating your staff. But this is a timeless pub. And by his moustache, I'm thinking this is... Eddie. Eddie, what happened, Eddie? Oh. Eddie. My friend. Um... Okay, Eddie. Uh, you you stay there. You you seem like you're a bit cramped. I mean, this is a big pub and everything, but I don't think I'll be. Uh, I don't think I'll be. Uh, oh, he's gone as well. I don't think I'll be asking for my birthday party here. You seem like you've got enough on your plate. All right, Eddie. Um, goodbye. Um, so maybe then. Ah, the picture's coming into more focus now. Ah, we have a book. Left page. Thursday, 3rd of May, 1882. Charlie, though a cherished patron, has become enamoured with my dear wife of late. This affection has grown most wearisome. Right page. Friday, 10th of May. She cannot subject me to this. The shame of it is intolerable. We're... Do we have a name? We don't don't have a name of the wife yet. The five bells. Okay. Um Is it's she your wife? Eddie? Is she your wife? Tell you what. It's all gotten a bit hardcore. Here's another barroom joke. You ready? You ready, Eddie? A dyslexic man walks into a bra. Short and sweet for you there, Eddie. Short and sweet. Alright. Okay. So, if I'm... The items on the... On the thing, on, on the... They seem to allude to a bigger story going on. But... She had, like, makeup to cover her bruises. And she's crying away there. But then he was just, you know, cramped up there. So did she kill him? Is this... Oh, is there, like, a tryst going on? Are we going to find out that he died? Eddie, the barman, died? The owner? The proprietor? Of the Ten Bells? I haven't seen anything wrong. I haven't seen anything. I'm just going to head back just a second. Just in case. Everything's looking okay. The anomalies so far have been pretty big. And they've been pretty... Let's just check the cellar. Can we... No. No option to open the door there. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. Ah. Lady Chatterley's lover. Hmm. A risque book back in the day. Here we go. Right. We are on to the six bells. The six bells. I feel like this little nook here is going to have something going on at some point. I don't know. Eddie. Everything okay at home, my pal, my friend? Everything all good? 
Yeah. Alright. Beer mats, everything's... It's the pictures and these display cases. It's always something that I'm worried about. Oh. 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 Well, that's very coffin-shaped, and uh, the blood here is just um, dripping down onto the barrel. Um, I'm going to take that as an anomaly. See you! So the further we go on, it's like a kind of reverse of Dorian Gray, right? Oh, we've got something new. Disappeared! Mrs. Clara Hughes of the Ten Bells Public House, age 22, build medium, complexion fair, eyes color brown, hair color brown, height 5 foot 4, weight 9 stones and 4 pounds. Wow, I mean, you know, it was the 1800s. Clothes, black gown with white apron. Oh, good lady, best character. She was last seen leaving the Ten Bells Pub, Whitechapel, on Saturday the 5th of May at 10 a.m., on her way to buy tea and cleaning supplies. Hmm. Any information concerning this lady should be communicated to Henry Moore, Whitechapel. So not the other inspector. So now we know her name. Clara. Clara. Okay. So we've got Eddie and Clara here. And what's this now? Seven? The seven bells of hell. Seven circles. So she's disappeared. So she's dead. So we're in a ghost pub. Is that what we say now, Eddie, my friend? Are we in a ghost pub? Is this... I know you said timeless, but... This is a really nice pub, though. I really would like to... Um, if this pub... If they've... If the developers have taken this pub from actual... I would like to go this. Because they're all turning into gastro pubs. You don't get this kind of old manny pub, open fire... Sorry, Clara, you've disappeared. I feel like you're dead, but we'll come back to you in a minute. Um, I need to pay attention. I don't think anything's gone wrong here. I can't see. There's nothing. Was that? Were those snooky cues always? Were they always there? I don't know. I just don't know. Did we? Did we check up here? We didn't. Okay. There's nothing screaming at me here. We had the poster there. Ah! What does that say? You... something... we do it? But that's an anomaly. It's a, that was a slight one. You nearly caught me there. You nearly caught me, because I didn't see it. So we're going back. We're going to go back. Uh-oh. Well, we know that she's disappeared now. Ah, what's this? A letter. My dearest Clara, I wish to take you away this very night. I cannot bear it any longer. Yours ever faithfully, C. So... Hang on. The Eight Bells. My good man. Are you C? Are you? So yeah, something in the picture there. So we do have to look out for the pictures. Was that always there? I don't know. I don't know now. And if I get one wrong, does that take me all the way back to number one? Or just... We're on the, uh, the eight bells. So if I go down to seven, then we know. Then we know. Yeah, all pubs nowadays are becoming gastro pubs, or having music blaring out from the speakers. I like I like a good old man pub. You see, here for me, sitting down here, having a nice whiskey or wine, that'd be great. I don't drink beer. I'm not a beer drinker myself. I like the whiskey or I like the wine. Oh, now there's things that I didn't even notice before that are here. How are we doing, Clara? Yeah, I'm sorry. 
seems like you're dead. But I need to ascertain whether... I'm, that's the barman, right? So, are you married to him, or are you just employed by him? Do you have a husband that is abusing you, and he's taking you away from all this? Is that what we're saying, Clara? Talk to me, Clara. I am a patron, after all. And, you know, one of the duties of being a bar lady, if that's what you are, is to converse and make sure my day's gone okay and everything. No. No. Just go fuck yourself, huh? All right. I know where we stand now, Clara. I haven't seen anything, but I'm just going to go back just in case. Just in case, because that picture one last time was very subtle. It was very subtle. No, I think we're okay. I'm going to go ahead. If it's the seven bells, so be it. Let's go. Let's go. Check this door. I think I think we're good. I think we're good. She's disappeared from the painting. She's like Vigo in Ghostbusters 2. She's outside now. And what have we got? Um, my dearest Charlie... The shame of my marriage to Arthur weighs heavily upon me, for my heart belongs solely to you. Each moment without you is a torment, as I yearn for the love we must conceal. How cruel is this fate that keeps us apart, when my soul is irrevocably yours. Yours in secret and love, Clara. So... The Nine Bells. I'm thinking that Eddie, whose name is Arthur now, right? He's got to be Arthur. You guys are married. There's been a bit of domestic uh, troubles going on lately. Did you find out about Charlie? Or are you Charlie? I think it's the other way around. I think she's married to him. Yeah, that would make more sense. Uh, Clara, Clara, Clara. The heart wants what the heart wants. Hey, Arthur. Psst, come over here. Got another one for you. Got another bar joke for you. You ready? A shy guy goes into a pub, right? And sees a beautiful woman sitting at the bar. After an hour of gathering up this courage, he finally goes over to her and asks tentatively, Would you mind if I chatted with you for a while? She responds by yelling at the top of her voice, No! I will not sleep with you! Everyone in the pub is staring at them and naturally embarrassed. He, sh he slinks back to his table. After a few minutes, the woman walks over to him and apologizes. Don't walk away from me. You're, you're hearing this joke, all right? She walks after him, right? And she goes, I I'm sorry if I embarrassed you. I'm a psychology student. And I'm studying how people respond to embarrassing situations. To this, the man responds at the top of his voice, What do you mean, 800 pounds? You get it? Do you get it, Arthur? You probably don't because you've killed your wife, but... um. You know. In some fields, some people would find that joke quite funny. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing anything. Nothing with a snooker table. Nothing with a snooker table. So far, Clara? Clara? You got anything to tell me? Ah, uh, I see it. I see it. The handprint. Yeah. Yeah. That's all right. It's okay. So, we've only got one more level to go, right? Is that right? Oh. So, Clara is the ghost. Is that what we're saying? Is there any... Where are the items? Is there any more items to read? Ah. No? Ah. Mr. Arthur Hughes and Mrs. Clara Hughes. The happy couple of the Ten Bells public house. So yeah, they were married. She was having an affair. I'm sorry, Clara. Ooh. Okay. Um, Arthur, my boy, my man. If this is the last level then, I can only go forward, right? The door's closed. You've closed the door on me. Is this a lock-in? Are we having a lock-in, Arthur? 
you know what? I'll be honest with you. If you can promise me we have a good lock in here, I won't say anything about the whole killing of the wife thing, right? You get me? Arthur? Just slide that bottle of whiskey over here. You goddamn bastard, Arthur. All right. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, she's outside. What are you... <gasps> oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, I can't... I can't follow them into the cellar? I think... I think yeah, I think we know what happened. Killed her with the bell. He struck it. Oh, I see. Right. So every time he hit her, that's why it's the ten bells. Okay. Okay. I still want to know what's in the staff only. Well, we can only go forward. Oh, we're ascending now. Oh, this is cool. That's quite a cool way of um, doing your credits. I do like that. So they were all, are they all in the pub? I remember the Duke guy. I don't remember seeing anyone else really. Oh yeah, I remember seeing this guy. Okay, that's that's really cool. I really like that. Yeah. Can you escape? Well, have we not escaped? Clara Hughes Funeral Service, The Ten Bells. Arthur has invited you to join him in bidding farewell to his dear wife, Clara Hughes, a gentle soul without malice. May she find a way out of darkness and into the light. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Hi, guys. You're just grief-stricken. So you're all kind of clutching at your throats. I get it. I understand. Poor Clara. So I was Clara all the time. I see. I see. I'm the ghost in the pub. With my roving eye. I must find a way to escape from this hell. So I'm assuming, then, that there is another ending? Intriguing. Ah, wow. Okay, so I have to, forever in my heart, Charlie. I see. So we have to get the... If we have to get the true ending, we have to get all the anomalies, is that what you were saying to me? There's a lot of anomalies here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I have to do this 26 more times? Possibly? Oh. I'm going to be honest with you, Clara. We'll give it a whirl. We'll see what happens. Okay? Can't promise you anything, though. 
20, that's, that's playing the game like three times, and there might be times when there's not an anomaly. Arthur, you goddamn son of a bitch. So we're saying it once again, if this is the first level, there's not going to be an anomaly? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to carry on with this for a little while. And if I see any good anomalies, because I want to find out what's behind here. This has got to be one of the anomalies, right? I don't know. We'll see. I'm just going to run through. I'm only going to know when there's a... Yeah, there's a bell. So... Okay. So I'm going to have to try and speed run this. There's blood on the walls. There's blood on the walls. That's an anomaly. Bye. Oh, there's green algae on the walls. Bye. Hey. I've come... Can I go back? Right. I see. It's going to be a lot quicker now. I understand. Okay. Right. Good one. Thanks, Arthur. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Demon Clara coming after me? Oh, she's still fucking running after me. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's, that's going back. That's going back on ourselves. Goodbye. The revenge. Hmm. Local landlord arrested for slaying of wife. Arthur Hughes, landlord of the Ten Bells Chapel in Whitechapel, was arrested for the brutal murder of his wife, Clara. She was found bludgeoned to death with a handbell, discovered by authorities after a tip-off from regular patron Charles Jones, the lover. Your lover, Clara. The motive for the crime remains unclear, though neighbours whisper of marital discord. Hughes is now in custody, and the community is left reeling from the shocking tragedy. Further details to follow. Well, I'm happy, Clara, that we were able to, you know, solve your mystery, crime, even though I am you. Oh, look at this. Oh, my love, my darling, I hunger for you. Can I go to hell, though? Let's just have a quick look. Let's just have it. I know heaven is ascending and everything. No, the doors are closed, but what about this door? There was some red light coming, ah. Uh... 
I didn't get I didn't get that final one. Okay, we're gonna go do we're gonna go ghost. We're gonna Sam we're gonna ditto this. Ah. Farewell, my sweet darling Charlie. Well there you go guys, that was the ten bells. Um I really enjoyed that. I've played a few of these anomaly type games before on the channel, but most of them don't really have a storyline. I think even, I can't remember if it was the Exit 8 or the Hotel Overloop. I did say like, you know, the only thing missing from these type of games is a kind of narrative storyline. And this had that. We found out through the first couple of loops that the barman that I named um, Eddie was actually Arthur, the, the, the husband of Clara and had killed her because she had been whoring herself out to Charlie. But the heart wants what the heart wants, people. That's all I'm going to say. In 1880s, you, you get a bell around the head. Nowadays, you can just file for divorce. It's not that hard. Um, there were some subtle clues in this one. There were some subtle ones. Uh, the, bar, the, the beer mats were definitely one of them. Uh, there was one where you had your, uh, your height perception challenged. There was one that I didn't even know what I'd found. I just went back and I got it. So there are some really subtle ones, but there's also some very in-your-face anomalies as well. So I do appreciate the fact that you've got the whole smorgasbord of subtle ones, nuanced ones, and also in-your-face ones. Ones that kind of scare you, put the chills up you. I really enjoyed that. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like or dislike the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.